founder of Ellis Law. And for 30 years, we've recovered over half a billion dollars for our clients. We have helped so many Southern California accident victims get their lives back together. We're experts in getting you the best settlements. Call for a free consultation. You pay us nothing unless we win. There's a reason we're called LA's legal heroes. Now at noon, the man accused of violently attacking several women in the Los Angeles area is set to appear in court after being extradited from Mexico. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. The suspect had been on the run for more than a week after authorities say he brutally attacked a woman who was gardening in East L.A. He is now making his first court appearance in the case. KTLA 5's Carlos Osedo live in downtown L.A. with an update. Carlos? Good afternoon. The suspect is expected to be arraigned today in a courtroom here in downtown Los Angeles later today where he faces multiple charges including robbery, attempted murder, and assault with intent to My 15th violent incident and at least seven other attacks on women in East L.A. and here in downtown L.A. Detectives say the cell phone video recorded by a neighbor of the July 15th victim was paramount in closing in on their suspect, who they say targeted mostly elderly females. On that same day, he assaulted other women, one of them 84 years old. The family of Rosalina Martinez says they're relieved. After the capture of her alleged attacker, I spoke with her son-in-law yesterday. I'm just happy he's he's behind bars at the moment. Did you guys ever lose hope or think that this day would never come? To be honest, um, it's so recent that obviously every single day that passed by, we felt more and more anxious. We're like, you know, he's going to come back. How could somebody do something like this? I, I look at uh, uh, her and I see my grandmother, I see my mother, uh, and, and I think that's what a lot of people saw. Sheriff Robert Luna describing the suspect as a horrible human being, a deviant, and they believe there are likely more victims out there that just haven't come forward. So officials want you to take a good look at the suspect and alert them if you encountered him on the streets. Now, the family of Rosalina Martinez, they set up a GoFundMe page to help with medical expenses. If you'd like to help them out, you can go to our website, ktla.com. Now, as for the suspect, again, he's expected to be arraigned later this afternoon. That's the latest here in downtown LA. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. Thank you, Carlos. The man known as the steak burglar has been released by a judge under a 12-year supervision. Christopher Jackson appeared in a Riverside courtroom this morning. He's accused of committing at least 70 break-ins throughout Riverside County since 2021. He is described as a steak burglar because he crawls and moves around the floor like a steak to avoid triggering alarms. Jackson was arrested and released last year. Then he was booked again in April for allegedly trying to break into another business. Well, six suspects are now in custody, believed to be connected to the shooting death of a man at a scenic turnout of Angeles Crest Highway. Pasadena police early Monday morning in Rancho Palos Verdes. Our suspects uh, focused on targeting on vic targeting victims who were parked in scenic turnouts or areas that were somewhat uh, desolate, and in most cases, those victims were distracted when uh, when they were assaulted. Pasadena detectives say they are sharing information with the LA County Sheriff's Department, which is handling the Rancho Palos Verdes investigation. Turning to developing news today, for the sixth time, a bus of asylum seekers arrived from Texas. The bus was carrying 36 migrants, including 13...